starting off with the same exact look that we had for yesterday's video, which is the autumn fairy look that I had. I wanted the eyes to be super glam, so there was no point in taking the eye look off just to redo a glam look. So just kept it and it's still super glam and glittery. So I am just taking a makeup wipe and wiping off the foundation around my mouth and my forehead area. And while I'm doing that, I'm mapping out a mask shape around my eyes. Definitely do not waste foundation by doing a full face just to wipe it off like this. I just already had it on, so it just makes sense to kind of map it all out this way. Now I am taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, which is just the white one, on a liner brush and I'm mapping out my cheekbone area and you can see where I draw it out, don't like it, erase it, and start over. You just want to get it perfect so you can see a lot of practice back and forth here. Then I'm mapping out the mask area with that by going around it. And then for the super fun part, we're doing the teeth. This is definitely the hardest part and it takes the longest. So this is my very first ever skull look, so I've never practiced it or anything. So it took a long time. This took about two hours for me to film because the teeth took so long. So if you're planning on doing any kind of skull, I recommend starting the face hours before you have to be anywhere. <laughs> so you can just see me drawing it out. I recommend using the reference point of making the teeth in like a Hershey's kiss shape. I got that from Desi Perkins. I think that's the best reference point shape wise. And you can just see I am mapping everything out. So I think I was at a disadvantage because my lower lip doesn't meet up perfectly with my top lip. It sticks out quite a bit so I had to make up for that area where my lower lip doesn't perfectly meet with my top lip, but that's alright. We got it all figured out. So this just takes a lot of time and patience to get the teeth down, but once you get it, it looks super cool. This is what we end up with. It looks like a mess, but once we start the shading, it'll all come together. So I found this cream makeup at Target. Obviously it's not cruelty free, it was super cheap, and I do not recommend this. Like you can see me piling it on and it is just super streaky and blotchy and you can see my skin through. I even did multiple layers once one dried. It just wasn't working out. I don't recommend it at all. taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean and using that to shade in my cheekbone, like mouth, jaw area. You can see what I'm doing here. Let me just say that the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils are amazing for any Halloween look, but especially amazing for skulls because they are so creamy and I almost which I would have just shaded my entire face with my white pencil, that would have taken a lot, but I think it would have had even better coverage. It's just so creamy. I am using two different pencil brushes for the teeth and for the black areas in between the teeth. Then I am taking the cream makeup and just painting the rest of my face where it should be white. And I realized after doing it, you can see me realize here, that I probably didn't need to do the nose because it's going to be black anyway, but whatever, you're just doing like around the nose area and the jawline. And then I am using an angled brush on my gel liner to trace out the mask area that I've got going on, and it'll just help make it really pop that it's supposed to be a mask, obviously. using the 
same exact gel liner but a small super fine liner brush I am going to be doing kind of like a lacy detail I guess around the outside I want it to look like an actual masquerade mask with lace around the outside and I'm just going along the complete outer edge here and you can see my total frustration when I mess up here couldn't figure out what to do but I finally just finished the rest of it and rolled with that little streak I recommend taking your time I was trying to hurry it took so long to do this but I kind of just rolled with it and was like all right we can make it look like it's been sewn on so that's I'm just creating lines and it kind of just makes it look like it's been sewn on here very messily of course for the nose using the same brush and same exact gel liner and you just want to make like a little peak area and then trace around the outer parts of your nose as you can see here and then completely shade it in so it looks like a shadow so the nose obviously is made of cartilage so there is no nose on a skull once you have completed that you have completed the entire look so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys are enjoying the Halloween looks I will see you all tomorrow and in the meantime make sure to spread some positivity